Iceland volcano eruption releases gigantic toxic gas cloud flying towards Europe. A massive cloud of toxic gas, released from Iceland's ongoing volcanic eruption, is moving across northern Europe. The scientists, who have been tracking the cloud, said that it is not likely to cause any serious health issues but warned that it may affect the ozone hole above the Arctic. An underground volcano erupted for the fourth time in Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula on March 16, opening up the largest fissure of the current eruption cycle and releasing a massive lava flow which narrowly stopped from flowing into the evacuated town of Grindavik. Initially, the researchers feared that the lava could reach the sea and release a plume of hydrochloric acid which can be life-threatening to anyone who is living close to the coastline. However, the lava did not reach the shore. But sulfur dioxide, which is a toxic and colorless gas and can be very dangerous if present in high concentrations, was released in the eruption. The volcano spitted 110 pounds of sulfur dioxide every second on March 17, as per a statement from the Icelandic Met Office. According to Iceland Civil Protection, the workers in the Svartsengi power plant had to be evacuated because of high levels of the gas and locals were asked to remain inside. Eventually, sulfur dioxide emissions decreased significantly, however, Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service CAMS, data showed that the initial release of gas created a 3-mile tall, 5 kilometers, concentrated column which is moving towards other nations in northern Europe. The Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service CAMS, is part of the European Union's Copernicus program which has been tracking climate and weather changes with the use of satellite data. The cloud of gas has already crossed the United Kingdom and is moving towards Scandinavia. The Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service will be tracking the plume, although we don't expect there to be any impact on surface air quality or climate said senior the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service scientist Mark Parrington in a statement to Live Science. The impacts of the volcanic eruptions in Iceland in the atmosphere have not yet been so severe, but it is relevant to keep monitoring the evolution of the situation, said the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service Director Lawrence Rui.